I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. We gotta work this out. I had to give myself a haircut for that bit. Let me just grow it back real quick. Alright, perfect. We need to decide what comes next. Last episode was a disaster, and I don't know how I even turned it into anything. But this house should have been done, and it should be done. Like, everything that has led up to this point should have caused this house to be fully built, but it's not. The problem that I'm having is that I'm putting these episodes together all haphazardly at the end, instead of really planning what's gonna be in them, what's gonna happen, and what my end goal is for one episode. I give myself such a wide range, and I'm like, I'm gonna finish the house. Well, I might as well have just conquered the entirety of the United States. Like, I, the goal is too large. So hopefully, this is the beginning of cutting back just a little bit and realizing what I'm doing in the moment. And speaking of what I do in the moment, I posted two things on my community page the last few days. One day, I was like, hey, look at these crafting tables. I, I placed two next to one another. And the next day, I placed three within a straight line of one another. So I went around the base and everything that isn't permanent or nostalgic or intentional, I removed. I went through all the inventories I am aware of that have a crafting table in them. And I collected every single one. Take your guess right now. Take a guess. How, how many crafting tables do you think I've made? Just scattered around and in inventory. Like shulker boxes too. I also came down here and sorted everything, but that's another story. If your answer was 62, then you'd be correct. <laughs> I like I kept all the intentional ones too. Like there's some in there. There's uh, some outside still. Like there's one right there. There's one in the bedroom. Like there's a few scattered around. Meaning that I have crafted over a stack of crafting tables that have no use because they're just sitting around. So I'd like to incorporate them into the crafting room somehow, and I'll try to decide what that's going to be like soon. I'll keep them on me for now. But I came down here. And I decided that before this started, I would get everything in order. So I pretty much sorted everything back to the way it was, where it's actually in the right shelter boxes, which is good because we're probably going to need at least one or two of these. Probably the stone one for today's video, because I have a partial plan and I already forgot what I was doing. Let me back up. I gave myself a clipboard. <laughs> I have two things written down. That's great, isn't it? One of the things is to name the horses and the cat. I asked you guys to name them, like, uh, God knows, uh, what is that, like a month and a half ago? And if you guys actually gave me some comments and some suggestions, and I'm going to use them, I appreciate it. I should really pull them up first before I actually forget. So, I got two different comments with name suggestions. The first of which, from Rogan, suggests that we name a horse Bojack or Pops, and I am considering using Pops eventually, but definitely Bojack, for sure. This one, perfect. And from Markimus, we have Penelope or Sergio for one of the horses, and I think that we're gonna go with Penelope for this one. So we'll have Penelope and Bojack, plus Rutherford, who's just chilling. And this cat, I actually named. I anticipated that I wasn't going to get a name suggestion because it was pretty late in the video, and I didn't really expect this. But at the moment, its name is really just Null. I thought it was funny. It's not that funny, so I'm willing to change it. Markimus also suggested that we name it Jinx, like Homeward Bound, and I figured, hey, why not? I like it. Oh, look at this kitty cat. And I also, funny enough, may have accidentally tamed a horse the other day. Pretty sure we have extra saddles, but I'm stealing one of these just because I don't remember. <laughs> I was getting a shot for the last video, and I wanted to be out on the hill over by the cherry biome over here, and there was a horse in my way, and I punched it twice, hopped on top of it, and instantly tamed it. And I would imagine, <laughs> since he's tamed, he's probably still sitting over here. Yep. There he is. <laughs> hey, look, a horse. That's crazy. This is Sergio. You have something you want to say? Oh, okay. Well, aren't you a jackass? This also leads into the problem of we have way too many people. Animals, creatures, I guess. And we need to find a way to give them all their own unique place instead of just shoving them all into one building. The horses could use a stable. The dog house needs to be done. The cat house should be done. Everything like that. So I'm really going to think and evaluate before I record the next bit of this. I'm even going to edit it down because that's a problem I also have where I wait till the end. And then I'll get back to you with some thoughts because I, I have a bunch of them and I want to coordinate them this time instead of just throwing them all willy nilly. Yes, I just said willy nilly. But for right now, look at that. Another horse. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> What is going on? I also feel bad. I'm letting them down. There we go. <laughs> Rutherford, how do you feel? It's been a while, buddy. I need to treat you better. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. As you just saw, I took that armor out of that chest. I used that for a thumbnail way back when. I think that was like episode three. I don't remember. But I had already gotten netherite and I needed a screenshot in the world with diamond. So I went and bought diamond armor. I went out of my way to get a new set of armor for that thumbnail. But I was thinking about it. This 
is my battle gear. When I'm around the base, and hopefully when I'm around just the world in general, I shouldn't really need this. Like while we develop the areas and stuff, yes, I will need it. But for now, eh, it's debatable. So I want to have a set of armor that's just kind of chill, epic, silly vibes, gaming mode. <laughs> I think it would be cool to like display this armor just somewhere, maybe in the bedroom even, just so it's there at the beginning of the episode. What the hell are you doing? But I won't need the chest plate. I won't need the pants. I only need the boots and the helmet. Those are really the only important pieces of armor. And that's, uh, that's according to my facts and logic source. Trust me, bro. This all needs to get reworked. I need to finish it. Um, what, what did I walk in on? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> did I ever show you guys how to enchant properly? And to be clear, this is as far as I know. By saying that, that subtracts any need to be absolutely correct. As far as I'm aware, putting something in the anvil and combining it gives it a tag. So it has a count of how many times it's gone through the anvil. So if you combine two books, it now has a combination time of one. I may have just explained that horribly, so I'm going to do it again now. So the way I do it, I throw things into the anvil one at a time, and I sort them based on how expensive they are. So blast protection, since it's a specialty protection enchantment and it's level four, each level is two levels in the anvil. So that is probably going to be the most expensive thing unless I pick thorns, which I should probably put on this. Hold on. I was under the impression that I had thorns. We have power five? Jesus. Okay, screw it then. Fine. I don't have a lot of time. I don't care about thorns. But I throw them on here one at a time. Blast protection is the most expensive in this case. We need aqua affinity. We need unbreaking. We need mending. We need respiration. I think that's it. So we have eight, six, three, two, two. And with the anvil combining things, right? You want to do one cycle with one book. So it gives one level on the item. Then you want to combine these two together. The next most expensive, the six and the three in this case, combine them together so they have a one then combine both the helmet and the book that both have one on them together to get a helmet that has a level of two on it if you can see where this is going this piece of armor now has a tag that is level two meaning it's been through the anvil twice so then we're going to combine the last two books together to get one that has one and do this to get one that has three it only costs eight levels to make that same with the boots. Protection is four because it's basic. Feather falling four is four because it's also basic for some reason. But Depth Strider three is a specialty enchantment. So it's six. In this case, Depth Strider is the most expensive book. Mending is two and Unbreaking three is three. So in this case, we do Depth Strider three, Protection four and Feather falling four. Combine these two together, combine these two together and do this. And now we have technically God Armor. It's not perfect. I'm not in the version where you can put all the protections on it. I wish I was. I wish that was just a thing. I don't know why it isn't. And it is also missing like soul speed, but I don't really care right now. I'm tormenting a cat. I'm just kind of following it around. Oh, oh, oh yeah, there he goes. Oh, go up the ladder. <laughs> go up the ladder. Oh, there he goes. Oh, the ascension. Oh God, wait, do we even have prismarine? Ah, oh, it's going to wait then. <laughs> I was going to trim out the diamond armor with diamonds. I was going to waste 16 diamonds on it. It wasn't a waste. It looked a little bit cooler. Eventually, we will use these. But right now, I don't really see the need. Doesn't matter. We need to figure out what's going on, though. Yes, the house needs to be done. <laughs> it will happen. Not right now. I don't want to work on it right this second. But I have listed off a ton of things we need to do, and I don't think we've done any of them. And this happened, what, a month ago? Trading hall is not done. Iron farm is important. Slime farm is a giant one. Prismarine, I just complained about not having Prismarine. Shulker farm is actually done. It's not fixed, but I will count it because I can just go there and fix the portals. See, this is one of those crafting tables. I'm not breaking it because of the cake. The firework factory has got to happen at some point. And um, uh, yeah, there's nothing else on that list. Then we have all this stuff that I can't really do because like cactus I could do, but there's really no need to set up a cactus farm yet. Moss farm would be nice. But like, realistically, what am I going to use that for right this second? We should have tree farms and stuff listed on here too, but I haven't. I think the big thing is going to be the slime farm. The slime farm is going to be a big thing. It's going to let us do all of the world eater stuff, meaning that I can make perimeters. Yes, that is something I intend on doing. And for the bamboo, sugarcane, and kelp farms... It's kind of essential, so we kind of need the slime. Fairly sure that I've showed this off. I really need fireworks, oh my god. Over here, we have this section of four slime chunks that I'm going to use as a farm. I'm not sure that I really feel like digging this out, but I don't know if we have another option right now. It might make the most sense to just do this. Ah, uh, I really don't want to. Cow, what do you think? Cow had a differing opinion and I didn't like it. I think we make this slime farm. <laughs> cow is right. We make this slime farm. I'm going to use this as an excuse to uh, do something silly. Cow, cow, cow was right. I started giving... Where's, where's Paul? 
Oh, that bed wasn't really for you, but I guess you can have it. I started putting up the things that I've started to collect, like the uh, axe from the nether in the last video. I figured I'd, I'd call it the never-ending search. I have the hoe, <laughs> one of the ones we saved from all the trail ruins. I think there's another one. Oh, yeah, the, I, the ender pearl from the enderman that um I definitely kept alive and was friends with. You fucking We'll throw the beef on the wall, too. I told you, he's gonna have mystical items. Uh, it's just like real life. <laughs> I think it's beacon time. Beacon and uh, think, thinking, thinking and beacon. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm taking the beacon over there. Also, I did this. I experimented with this wall a little bit the last few days, and I'm not sure what I'm doing with these walkways. I haven't figured that far out, but I figured I could get this to look a little bit better, and I did. I rounded that off, made a window, and now we have uh, this on this side. I think it looks better, like dramatically better. Also, I got rid of this bookshelf, put a painting. It looks great. I actually really like it. I think including the wood more on this wall made it actually feel like its own room instead of it just being like slapped onto the end of that. I think it looks pretty. <laughs> All right, I'm going over there. Dingle, you can come with me. <laughs> this is a Dingle episode. You cannot make this shit up. I had the crafting tables in my inventory and I crafted another crafting table. <laughs> I am the problem. <laughs> really should be lighting this up as I go, but I'm lazy. Did I fail to grab the beacon? The one thing I needed? Oh my god, and I don't even have fireworks. Yoink! Oh, whoa! Wooga! <laughs> Yoink! That was a lot slower than I expected. Watch this, threading the needle, threading the needle. Oh, yoinky splunky. I don't even know what that means. And then I didn't bring a bed over. I can't believe I'm finally starting to sleep in the bedroom again. And not the storage room. Let's mine this thing out. Huh. Now realizing how big this hole is. I was gonna do a time lapse, but I think I'm just gonna- I think I'm not gonna do that. I think it's time that I go get coral. And I gotta look and figure out where that is. Aw oh, man. I was using my trident to get out here, and now I realize I'm going into ice. Eh. Eh. Ugh. Eventually there will be a grand city here. Yeah, not until I can work my shit out though. Yeah. <laughs> um, not a trail ruin. Not really too concerned about that. Also, that one oak tree? What what the hell is that about? <laughs> We're headed back out to the outpost. It's not an outpost, it's a mansion. Woodland mansion. I think it was up this way. I really hope so. Yeah, it should be. This place is cool looking. There's a lot of hills. There it is. I was here last episode. I remembered that on the other side of this jungle, there is a coral reef, and I need the coral for a little silly project I'm gonna show you. For a little silly funny. This would be a really good spot to place a portal down. Hmm. We're gonna have to work that out, too. I might actually place a portal. I hope I have obsidian on me. Hello! Is that an endangered coral reef? It would be a shame if someone mined the whole thing. Huh, well, that's it. Ooh, wait. That's where we're placing the portal. Oh, that's sick looking. It's, it's freaking epic. Uh, come on, up, uppies, uppies. Oh, you're shit. See lava? Oh wait, there's a portal out there, wasn't there? I remember seeing it. I swear to god I just saw it. There it is! Look at that! Look at this! It's the perfect amount. Probably. I don't know, I just made that up. Wow, it is actually the perfect amount. And lucky for me, it's raining. I'm going home the fun way. Haha! <laughs> Holy crap! This is an experience. Let's just- let's just lag the game a little bit more. Oh god! <laughs> you should be able to use this in the snow. Snow is just cold water. No. <laughs> I almost snagged that tree and killed myself. Oh, you can do it! Look at- that was- Oh my god, proud of that one. So the reason that I went to get that, and I'm sure you probably know where this is going if you know about technical Minecraft, which I'm sure you do. Most people do. I want to build TNT dupers. The problem is, I don't think we have enough slime balls. I think we're gonna need- yeah, we need more. Damn it! Ugh! We can't use honey blocks, can we? Even then, that's still annoying. This is irritating. I need just enough to make a TNT duper, but I can't make the slime farm without the TNT duper. I'm gonna take this opportunity opportunity to really search and hopefully I can find an actual swamp and we will just do that and get some slime balls just to start off with. I, it's already done raining, isn't it? No, it's not. Never mind. All right, here I go. Uh oh, why are we chugging? How are you using seven gigs of RAM? I will allocate 32. Don't uh, watch me. All right, you know what? Fine. Settings, memory, maximum. Uh, we'll do 24 gigs. That's close enough. Which way was I going? Whoa, lag a little bit more, huh? Oh, there's a mangrove. I was gonna say, we aren't that far away from the base. We are 6K away. Oh 
My god, look at this terrain. I miss, like, the extreme hills. Windswept forest. Just call it an extreme hills. Is this- this is a regular swamp. Okay. Ugh, I'm gonna have to make my way back after this. Also, what is the- what is the moon cycle? Are we seriously just getting screwed here? Hmm, I'm gonna get some slime. Did you do this? No one will ever believe you. I've also had this thought before. Last episode, I complained about mud bricks. Listen, when I came back for not playing after a while, I- yeah, I- I forgot about the mangrove swamp. I- I can get- I can- I can get mud. It's not that bad at all. Uh, especially because they're this big and they have like five layers of mud. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. Uh -huh, I totally forgot about that. Still just standing around waiting though. This is fun. I don't think I've ever seen a baby cow spawn naturally. It's been a long time. I always associate that with bedrock. I don't think I've ever seen that on here. Uh, I- okay, I did that naturally. I- I'm sorry. There shall be no witnesses. What time of day is it? I went AFK for two seconds. Is it? Uh, no way. Okay, it's coming up. I thought it was going down. Thanks. Appreciate it. Come on. Is that a frog? I don't like you. Wait, I'm just realizing. Isn't it hot, cold in normal biomes? You can get every type of frog here. There's a savanna like right over the hill, I think. Might need a portal out here too. Gonna be frogging out soon. These chickens do not kindle joy. Neither do you! Oh, wait, this might actually be a place that we stay. The witch hut, too? We can make a redstone farm. Hmm, this would be a very important portal. Tons of mud, naturally spawning frogs, cold, warm, and neutral biome, and a witch hut. I may have said witch hut first, I don't remember. Oh, shut up, you! I don't like you. You know what, you live. I need so little. I need like two big slimes and that's it. Slime Jesus is upset. Not a single one. This is how we're gonna do it from now on. We're resetting. Again, not a single one. Are you kidding me? Oh, slime! Sligma! I'm becoming a Sligma male. And you've birthed all of the slime balls. I always try to sweep them all at once because I find it satisfying. 37, that's not bad. We probably have enough. I'm gonna get just a few extra in case, um, you know, accidents happen. I have TNT. Hmm. Also, isn't it funny that there's also another ruined portal next to a good location? Isn't there supposed to be a cat that spawns here? No, nothing. Am I not good enough? Is that it? It's not even a witch. Neither one of them stayed. Hmm, I'm gonna go back in my hidey hole. This time, right next to the witch hut. I have back for round two. Woo! Good thing I played the dropper on my old iPod Touch. Otherwise, I would have been toast. Bruh. Give me another slime. I hate this. Oh, there's one. <laughs> we both re reconciled there for a second. And we're home. That definitely didn't take a long time. Wow, what a seamless cut. Yeah, that took no time to get back home. Wow, that's crazy. That's awesome. I love that. I love how it took no time to get back home. Okay, really? Seriously, this is unreal. Oh my god. I think I need to go all the way over there. Just more. Just more mining. More mining. Oh, it's fine. Um, see, I don't use my brain. Don't even. Don't even. Yeah, that's what I thought. Put- Oh, I'm sorry! Yeah, first try. I, uh, forgot I did this thing where I killed mobs. <laughs> I can fly! Oh, wait. What portal is that? Wait, what- Where is this? There's the FaZe Clan logo. I know where I am. I'm pretty sure the base is that way. What is here? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I wonder where we are. God damn it. I hate this though. It's so hard to get through here. Whoa. Ah, not that way either. Good lord. Can I get up through here? No. <gasps> I meant to scroll a little bit further. Wow, I love the nether. I definitely don't plan on eliminating every block that resides within the bedrock. Am I even going the right way? Yes, thank God. Do that. That'd be pretty cool. Try to blend those frames together. All right, let's do this. This video's already almost 25 minutes long and I haven't even done the main thing I wanted to do. Ow. Even when I'm actively trying to make something coherent and pretty straight to the point, it's way too long. And I mean, some of you like that, which I get, that's fine. <laughs> I don't want to change that. I don't want to change what these videos are about. Let me reiterate. Let me reiterate. <sighs> Dingle, I can't speak. Let me reiterate that. Everything's gonna stay the same. I just want to do cooler shit. Anyway, TNT duper. I condone this behavior. If they don't want to make sand easily renewable without exploiting the game already, then fine. TNT duping is fine in my opinion. So we're going to start here on this corner. Ooh, I barely made that. You can do a piston and a L. On the top, you can place a detector rail and a minecart. Beneath it, you place a TNT, another L, a coral fan, and that's actually it. That, that's seriously it. This is the most complex machine in Minecraft. Uh, Dingle, I would like you to not be in within explosion range. Just, just in case something goes wrong, you know, just in case. If we do this and break that, it is now formed, and we can do this. 
to start it. Okay, so ideally, <laughs> try to do this in the air. When it's this far away, there's a like a very, very unlikely chance, but it still could happen to where it's it lands on the platform and the TNT is still falling and it just gets launched from the explosion. So it, it could break. Be, be wary. Isn't this fun? And now it's at the point where it can't actually reach the bottom. <laughs> yeah, it's just flattening that out. But that's basically the whole premise. It's just six slime blocks, and now you have access to unlimited TNT. Yeah, it's pretty silly. Glad they've kept it in the game, though, because it makes a lot of farms actually possible. And this, where I didn't have to mine any of that. And now this project should take, like, maybe an hour, <laughs> I would imagine. I guess we do this then. It seems like a good idea. They don't matter to me, yet I'm going to get them. <laughs> Look at that, a six vein. Oh, whoa. I miscounted five. I was surprised at the six. Oh, I have a horrible idea. Hasn't Grian been fishing? Is that something that's going on? I, I haven't paid attention to this Hermitcraft season. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh, 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 I'm gonna get one. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus Christ, I didn't think that would land that close. <laughs> this is how I die for the first time. We can make a really fun mini game out of this. This is not a viable way of mining. <laughs> it is goofy, though. Ah, oh, there it goes. All right. I screwed up. I screwed up. I screwed up. No. Ah, oh, I placed a block under the TNT and it updated it. I knew it was going to happen. I was okay. I was about to make a joke. I was like, oh, I'm getting all foggy eyed. Uh, oh, oh, my eyes are glazing over. Oh, I'm getting bored. I'm not paying attention. I'm going to do something stupid. And then what do I do? Something stupid. Ow. Ah. Uh. Oh, come on. I totally forgot these existed. Hmm, I guess I'm filling this in. Yippee! I hate water. Oh my god. I did not place this. I went in here. I was like, what is this from? I remember. This is the first cave we were in. Oh my god. Like very first cave. Because I mined through here. This is where I think I got lapis here and I placed the door. Wow. I that's something else. I never thought I'd see that again. It's gonna get destroyed too. I say we take it with us. Door. That's so cool. I, I genuinely never thought I'd see that again. Um, hi there. You seem to have spawned in the slime hole. In the big slimy hole. Hi there. Hi. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean that. Um, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Didn't mean that. Up, up. It was a mission put. Mission put. Calm down. You calm down. It was a mission put. God, these people are crazy. Holy crap, guys. Can you believe it? That slime dropped 41 poopy slime balls. It's me, most critical. I'm freaking epic, guys. Okay, now I need to decide what this shape is gonna look like. Initially, I was gonna go for square, but I think that that's kind of lame. So I think I'm gonna make it oval, but I'm gonna shape this out, dig the rest of it down, and then hopefully it's not that much of a hassle. I haven't been editing this. I'm sure it's at like an hour and 10 minutes and two hours, nine hours. It's nine hours long. Guys, thank you for watching this nine hour video. Oh, come on. I swapped pickaxes. Now we need to get more coral fans. Glad I didn't do it with both of them. Oh, you little... Mm, that's just gonna go forever now. <sighs> I gotta catch it. It'd be really funny to just let it go permanently. This is a really big project. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink some more gamer stuffs and head back out there. Because, of course, I need more. I need more stuff. I need more. More. More coral fans. Shut up. You have something you want to say? No? Nothing. Nothing at all? You sure? Not a single thing? Yeah, that's what I thought. Get out of my nether. Bro was chilling. Your friends are coming to save you. Too bad. <laughs> they brought the whole family. Um, die bomb. All right, this time I'm not going to be dumb. I need just the fans. Yeah, so we'll see how this episode goes. I would really like to get the entire slime farm done. But in order for it to really work properly, I'm going to have to light up all the caves nearby. And the problem with that is that I don't really want to... <laughs> I want to try something. So these are the chunks, right? Yes, because we need to clear out this side. If I were to just flatten this very quickly. So mechanically, flying away from this hole and resetting the spawns so that it despawns everything else and gives like a new wave of spawns would mean that I should get slimes. But I don't know how well that's going to work in practice. I just want to try it. But if I were to fly away, all the spawns would be on the sides and fronts of me. But that, what is that? That's still a side. And if I get up to about here, it should despawn everything underground. And then maybe we'll get a spawn. Fun? No. 
I'm providing misinformation? Misinformation on the internet? No. That makes me feel like there might be a lot of caves nearby. And I don't want that because I don't want to have to deal with it like I just said. All right, either way, this hole has to get dug. Huh, it's been a while since I've seen that. It's only one. Only one. I'm gonna put this in my safe space. It came my ender chest. Oh, whoa. Whoa. The cavalry. The cavalry. Oh my god. <laughs> this is gonna drive me insane. <laughs> How are ya? Really need an Enderman farm. Really, really need one. Almost there. Not really. I need to dig all of this out now. So I think the plan here, ooh, diamonds, is gonna be to flatten that out to about here, and then we're gonna place more TNT dupers that'll go back and forth, and hopefully clear this all the way out to bedrock with no hassle. But I have a feeling I'm gonna run into water and probably lava. Yeah. Ah. Uh, oh joy. That nice job. And this is it. Oh god, already. Ah. Uh, isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. Ah. Well, this is day three. <laughs> who could have seen this coming? A giant project? Yeah, shocker. Hey, guess guess who I'm watching? G guess who guess who I'm watching? Boost the production of the bees. Um, but here we don't need production at all, right? It's Mr. Three that folds. Three, if you ever find my content, <laughs> I would be terrified. <laughs> so the plan for today, I guess, until I uh, get busy later, is probably just to clean this up. I don't know how long that's going to take, but I would imagine it's not going to be too, too bad because most of it's down. I was watching Pirate Cynical play through with Suicide Squad and uh, yeah, Suicide Squad kill the franchise. But I did do a lot of work. So all of the TNT dupers basically got everything flush. And I worked on this side most of the way down. There's only like two or three blocks I need to do the rest of the way. And over here is the biggest chunk, which isn't even that bad. So it's just a... Uh, a run and gun and go, I guess. Also, I collected a bunch of diamonds. They, at least the ones that didn't get exploded, so there would have been more. <laughs> I, I don't think... I, I don't think we're gonna have a problem for a long time. Okay, bye! I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I just flattened all that. Come on. <laughs> it was like 10 minutes. <laughs> okay. Day four. <laughs> Day four of my hardcore Minecraft survival world. I build a melon farm that gives me 7 billion 468 billion melons an hour. This is the hole. It it's a hole. We're gonna put the slime farm down here. And the reason I made it bigger, I will start to explain more, but we need to go get resources because I do not have the stuff to make this. Also, this is everything that I've tried to sort. I, I used a bunch of this deep slate actually yesterday, so. But still, there is so much in here. It's good though, we'll use a deep slate eventually. I need magma blocks. That's something that I haven't collected up until this point, so. I'm gonna go get magnum blood. Yeah, I'm gonna go get magnum blood. I'm gonna, I can't even say. Ah, look at that. Oh, that's lame. I thought it was gonna be a giant patch. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? There we go. This is a pretty big patch. I'm not certain how much we're gonna need yet because I haven't finalized this design. I'm just gonna do it off the top of my head. I know like the general idea, but I don't know how much magma block we're gonna need. I don't know where the killing floor is gonna be. A bunch of things. Uh oh, whoa. -ho. Watch this. Ooh, didn't even hit anything. That was clean. But Mr. Krabs, Mr. Krabs, did you play the glide mini game on the Xbox Minecraft? <laughs> Ooh, I can't wait to build a, uh, either a frog light farm or just a magma cube farm in general, because I would love to be able to just craft these. That is something I've never done. There's a lot of farms that I'm going to be building here that I've just never built because I'm lazy. Oh, no, 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 I want these. So ultimately, this and many other of these big farms that I plan on building here soon are going to be leading up to a big project. That is something I'm going to talk about next episode. I want to get it all laid out and properly think about it before I start just working towards it. Because if I don't have a end goal, then I'm going to get really demotivated. But there is going to be a giant mine uh, Minecraft? There's going to be a giant Minecraft. There's going to be a giant project in mind. I've been thinking about it for a long time now. And I don't really want to uh, share more until I've, I've really thought it through. <laughs> and obviously, that's a while away because like I still gotta build the house. I still gotta finish all these farms. I gotta like just have basic infrastructure. The city's not even started. 
Ow. <laughs> I will say we gotta wrap this video up. I don't know if I'm gonna be decorating the hole this episode. I just wanna get the farm running. Like, I haven't lit up any caves. I haven't done anything. So, it, it's, it's still a lot of work. I just should've kept track of how many hours this took, by the way. Digging this hole out literally took me three days. I'm not kidding when I said that's day four. I think the first night I did the TNT dupers, the second night I finished that off and then started flattening, I had to go to work, and then I came home, slept, woke back up, did the same thing where I kept flattening, went to work, came home, slept, and now I'm here. I did just finish it before I left yesterday. Super smelter. Very much so in quotes. Oh, why did I- oh, Unsmelts your super. <laughs> uh, I put cobblestone in. I meant to put regular stone in. I wanted to get smooth stone. Ignore this blunder. I'm a perfect Minecrafter. I don't do anything wrong. Unbelievable that I did something this stupid. With full competence, too. Competence? No, confidence. <laughs> super smelter. <laughs> that was that was a good one. That was pretty funny. That was pretty funny. I like that one. Hey there, Joe. Uh, <laughs> that's a screenshot. I'm gonna sleep next to you tonight, okay? Uh, Paul, it's not what it looks like. I can't even sleep yet. How are you in bed? Oh my god, old man. Yeah, I'll sleep in my storage room bed. Day 736 in my hardcore Minecraft survival series. Today, I built a neutron collider. Today, I created fission energy. <laughs> I thought about that and it made me laugh. So down here in the hole, right? It's a few blocks out. I think about seven and then the corners are rounded from these chunks in the center. These four that I'm flying through right now are the slime chunks. As you can see, there's slimes. A normal slime farm built correctly can almost max out the mob cap, right? I say right way too much. I've been editing and every time I think of that. So with four chunks, I don't really have to build this super hyper efficiently to get really good spawns. And that's what I'm going to do is build it artistically. <laughs> See, like, they're spawning crazy fast, just like this, and I've only lit up maybe, like, a cave or two. And I'm standing way too close. Like, two of these chunks aren't even active. There we go. Like, look at that! Dude! We're gonna have way too much slime. Slimes get aggravated from, I think, 16 blocks away. So that is a full chunk. So I have faith in this idea. Most people will use an iron golem trapped in fences, something like this, where they stand here and the slimes actually can't get to them. So the slimes will jump towards this fence and fall down. And most of the designs have a bunch of iron golems, but I don't want that many in this farm because I want it to be more efficient. Now, I'm not really concerned about having too many entities because my computer can very much handle it. But I want to be efficient anyway, because the more I just say, eh, it'll be okay, the more later down the line I'm going to have to do things that I don't feel like doing to fix it. It's a precaution. Oh, get, get, will you screw off? Hi, I did an absolutely terrible job of explaining things. Let's say that the spawning platform is right here, and this is the corner of the chunk. If I only built a platform that was the size of the chunk, the bigger slimes would lose out on all of the edges of being able to spawn. So I have the platform extending one block inwards, into the other chunks so that these big slimes can spawn. It's just a little bit more efficient. That's literally it. I also did a very, very terrible job of explaining how pack spawning can work. Pack spawning is basically when the game goes, okay, let's try to spawn a mob here. And then let's try to spawn another one and another one. And you get packs of mobs that spawn at once. So let's say there's something blocking this. So right there, there was like a carpet or something that blocked this spawn. So then it would try like, let's try one here. And since this is a valid spawn, it will actually spawn one and it will do the same thing. And you know, you can get multiple spawns from a initial failed attempt. But the thing about pack spawning is that as far as I'm aware, it can happen in the air. So it could try to spawn here. And because it's all floating, it wouldn't work. But if we had platforms that started here, it could attempt to spawn something out in the open and successfully spawn on the platform. It increases rates. I'm also not the person qualified to be talking about this. But what a spawning skirt is, and the entire reason that I've been bringing it up until this point, I don't know how much I've, I, I cut out, but you know what I mean. So in this instance, where there's nothing above this location, this is the highest point a pack spawning attempt can occur, I think. I'm pretty sure, yeah. So in order to get pack spawning to happen in the air up here, you need to have a roof. But if there is a roof up here, it raises the level of this chunk up to this location. That means anything beneath this can have pack spawning attempts then. But if it is all the way up at world height or like at the top of where the hole is dug, it would be way less efficient because it would check that entire space. So if you make your farm in a chunk and outside of it, a few extra blocks leave space for this skirt around the top, you can increase the rates just a little bit. <laughs> I, I think, I don't know. Correct me in the comments. I don't know everything. I'm not claiming to know everything. Anyways, uh, back to the thing, you know, the, the video the thing that you clicked on and started watching. If you made it this far, please like and subscribe and do all the YouTube stuff. Yeah, thanks. So let's try it. Let's just try it.
Come on, reset. Bro was intimidated. Yeah. We need more. We need more. I need like a villager matrix. I need like 700 glass villagers. Oh, I'm writing it down. I'm writing it down. I almost wrote villagers as villagers. I've got it. Uh, no, that's my, that's my back. That you want to, uh, let's talk to the back of my head. I have some pretty cool ideas. Yo, <laughs> uh, I'm going insane. <laughs> Maybe next episode I'll finish the house. <laughs> ah, it's such a funny joke. Ugh, this is going to be a pain. I hate this. Just let me build it on the fence. Guarantee this iron golem's like freedom and immediately runs out of here. Get in the hole, get in the hole, get in the hole. Go to, no, 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 no. you get in there, get in there, get in there. Yeah. Get in! There we go. Okay, good. Pretty sure that should be it for this side. So if I lead him over... Come on. I know you see me. He should lose focus on me and get attracted to the iron golem. Yeah. Look at the silly fella go. Oh, no. Hey, where are you going? Come here. Ha! I want to watch you burn. No, he does not like this iron golem, apparently. They are not the brightest mob. That was the wrong way. Little fella, I know you want to go straight into this hole and nothing else. Come on. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. Get in there. Yeah, but that should be it. If I do two platforms of this, that should be the entire slime farm. It's really simple. I'll just put mine cards and stuff underneath to collect it. This isn't gonna be like super, super efficient. It just isn't. But what it should be is enough. Like I only need so much. I'm a single person. This all needs to get slabbed though. Get out of here. This is the final phase. Day 738 of my hardcore Minecraft world. T guys, today that slime is getting freaking epically killed. Look at him. <laughs> I think the iron golem's just like, yo, what are you doing? That's it. That's the mechanics. Hmm. So I just had a thought. The baby slimes that'll be right here won't be able to see the eyes of the iron golem. I think we raise them up by half a block. That should be enough. Hmm. How do I do this? All right, maintenance mode. Come on, get in. Get in. Oh, get in the goddamn hole. Yeah, so his eyes are peeking through. Definitely from this angle, but I'm concerned that here they would get blocked. I honestly think because of the height, I don't think we need these top fence posts. I don't even think the big slimes could make that jump. May oh, maybe from there to there, actually. Wait, hold on. Even then, what if we just do this? The tiny slimes will not make that jump, guaranteed. I think that's the play. That way, I should be able to fill all this in because from here, yeah, you can still see see the eyes. It's perfect then. All right, that's what we're going to do. Yeah, because even the big slimes should only be able to go to there and then they'll hit the thing and fall. Well, it works. Oh my God. Yeah, that, that's basically dead center, but that's it. That's the whole mechanic. That, that's literally it. Huh? Well, what do you know? Yeah, so it, it's not super efficient just because uh, in the center. Like, we should have a third iron golem, technically, but I would rather have one less entity for a little bit less efficiency. And I think that works. That's fine. Like, it, it took him, what, a to two whole seconds to get over there? And he's gonna drop down, take damage, hit the magma, die, die again. That's it. <laughs> All right, that took way longer than it should have. Hopefully, the right collection system should be working. We're about to find out. I don't know how that minecart got turned around. Oh, dear God, it's broken again. Why does this rail keep swapping? No, we're done. We're done. Enough. Give that way permanently. Yep, it unloads. It shoots them into the water, and this water stream should actually be built properly, I believe. Yep, there we go. Check that out. Ah, oh, that is nice. Also, now that I think about it, it was powering that... Hopper too. That's why it's coming so slowly. Ah, because that is powering. Actually, yeah, wait, is it? It's powering that block. Mm. I do not have a lot of space here. Screw it. We're putting it right there. I don't care. I don't, I don't care. I'm done. Okay, good. But now I get to do the other side. Yay. Yay. I, I love hopper minecarts when I don't give myself enough room. All right, watch this. Uh, 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 bam. Did that look good? That'll be the second epic transition I've made this video. I, I feel like, I feel like you should know better. Oh, yeah. Look at all that slime. Look at all that goopy goo. Hi there. I need to learn to put my mic in my mouth because apparently I just look away and then you can't hear what I'm saying. Either way, I've chopped up most of the footage that's going to be in this video and it is getting really long, but I would feel really bad leaving it here. And not to mention, I think it's astronomically funny that I would make a video that's close to an hour long right after saying I can't do this again. I'm not making one that's an hour long. Either way, let's do some more steps to make this slime farm better because if I'm just going to sit here and debate on it, that's not really productive. Mobs spawn around the player within 128 blocks and anything beyond that distance, they despawn instantly. That means any caves underground also spawn mobs, even if you can't directly see them, which is annoying, but it's the way it is. I'm trying to figure out what side I want the thing on. I think we're gonna go like right here. Damn it. 
and it should be right between the two chunks. And this is the center. And this is where the room will be. And the AFK spot will be in here somewhere. Oh, look, it's already working. That is so cool. But the game is inefficient right now because there are so many caves that aren't lit up around me. I mentioned it. I cut it out. I'm pretty sure it's, I, I, like I said, the video's long. Maybe I did keep it in. But I mentioned that I was going to bring free cam back. I never liked the temptation to be able to just no clip through the ground. Because regardless of what I'm doing, it just felt weird to be like, oh, well, I could just check to see where that is. Or, oh, I could just see that. It's the same reason I don't use Mine Atlas anymore. Or any of the seed mapping things like Chunk Base. I never liked it. However, I think that in this instance, it's totally fine. And this is the only reason I like to use it, is lighting up caves. And inspecting things that I'm working on. But it's back. <laughs> and it is really cool to be able to see these things. But I can also no clip through the ground. And that is something that up until this point, I really didn't want to do. But now I can. And we can light up these caves. Because look, there's like a pack of Endermen right there. There's a bunch of glow squids. They shouldn't matter. Like a zombies just chill in there. There are a ton of things that are inside of the spawn radius. They're just filling up the mob cap. It's not going to be running very efficient if I don't light up these caves. So what I can do is decide roughly where an area is going to be. And say, I'm going to do it right here. And I can go into mini HUD. I can go into the shapes. I can add a shape if I don't click the wrong button for and add a despawn sphere, and I can turn that on. Now, this sphere is the entire area that hostile mobs can spawn in. Anything outside of this range, like if they spawned right here, they're instantly gone. They don't affect the mob cap. So what I gotta do is go around and light everything up in this area, and that's really fun, I guess. But as you can see, since it's nighttime and all the caves, there's actually not a single slime spawning. I'm gonna light some stuff up, and I'm actually gonna record this. It won't take that long. Bruh, like how big is this place? Oh my dear god. Are you for real? What's that? More mobs? More mobs? More mobs, please. Mmm, darkness. Mmm, darkness. More mobs. Good lord. Hmm, it's only been an hour and 15 minutes. Ah, oh, it's, it's fine. Just keep going. Just keep going. It's, it, oh, it's not going to make me crazy at all. Oh my god, it never ends. Okay. It has roughly been two hours. There's still a bunch of spots where mobs can spawn, so the mob cap is still getting a little bit uncomfortably close, but um, it's working. No, now it's not. Are there really enough spaces that the mob cat's full right now? It's so hard to tell with this stupid ass cave system. Like there's two. Oh, there's like six there. That's cool. I still don't see that many. No, now, now they're spawning. Yeah, there's a few spots. Oh my god. Oh my god. And this, it never ends. It never ends. I'm going to do something else. I'm not. No. No, two hours of this did not be done. I'm done. Let's do something else. How many balls are we looking at? Oh my dear God. That's still so many. Let's go get some materials. I want to try something. Where my cactus at? Uh, Ta-da! Yay, look, a slime face. Um, <laughs> I ran out of lime dye. So I'm thinking I take the lime all the way to the edges and then spread it up the wall. But again, I actually don't have any lime dye or the sand or the gravel to make this. And I don't know that I feel like going to get it. Hey, but look how much slime we have. Look at all that slime. Oh, wait, there's more in here. Oh my God, look at that. Um, Yeah, we're chilling. So there are a few caves, like I said, so this can be even faster. Like, look at the amount of mobs in this cave. You know what, a matter of fact, I'm gonna go do this one now. Hold on. Jackpot. Oh my God, that was so many more mobs than I thought there were. Uh-oh. Holy mother of God. Uh-oh. Somehow, there's not a single part of me that's shocked that it's thunderstorming. Um, oh, I think that that cave may have helped. Just, just a little bit. Just, just a tiny, tiny shred, maybe. That is insane. Oh my God. I may have gone a little overkill. Just maybe. <laughs> Crap. Wow, like six big slimes just over here at once. And this still isn't perfect. There, there's like two skeletons there. Creeper, four more creepers, bunch of skeletons. Like this is not perfect. Oh my God, the amount of slime. It just keeps coming. Is that minecart even? Oh, it's struggling here. Okay, so it's not getting rid of everything. It's bouncing. Why is it? Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm actually an idiot. That works. Now it should actually unload everything. That's better. Whoa, what the hell? Why, how am I running? Wait, wait, what was that? And how much slime? I can't even carry it. Yeah, this is necessary. I needed this. Oh, 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 oh slime. <laughs> I'm a certified sligma male. I'm sitting down here and I just don't know what I'm doing at this point. I'm just kind of shocked with how fast this is. We're going to keep this diamond ore because I really like that one. But I want to mine these ones. I want to see how many diamonds we get. Just don't mind all the, uh, the squishing to the left. Hmm. That's not nearly as many as I had thought. 19 blocks though. Oh. 
plus an additional 25. And I'm sure there's more somewhere because I'm so disorganized in the um extra crafting tables. Oh, we're up to a stack. Wow. Wow. I cannot be bothered to wait for my cactus to grow. So I'm coming the whole way out here. I figured I'd just grab as much cactus and sand as I can so I can make the glass and the, uh, you know, concrete. There's a bed up here, right? Me, 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 me. Delusion. That is what every project has turned into, is complete and utter delusion. I need so little, just a teeny tiny little bit of sand. I need so little concrete powder left. But oh, guess what? I'm out of sand. Oh, then I'm out of gravel. Oh, then I'm out of dye. I'm stealing it from here. I'm stealing it from here. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, that's more slime than I will ever need, ever. The slime face is done. And looking straight down on it, it kind of looks like a music disc. It's a little bit too uh, flat on the edges. In my head, all I can think of is like slime lo-fi. I imagine it would just sound like the slime sound, just like... <laughs> Eventually, I would like to put the uh, room up here so that you can glance down into the thing and you can see the big slime face, plus some things I want to put on the wall here. And I'm going to actually decorate this. It's going to be at least one color the whole way around so that it, you know, looks cool. All of this is a lot of work, and I guarantee this video is close to an hour long. <laughs> so I'm calling it here. I am very pleased with the amount that we got done in this episode because that is an entire farm and the start of how it looks. I mean, it, it, that, that, that doesn't exactly look great, but you know what? I like it. I think it's good enough. Check out all these slime blocks I got. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, hit that subscribe button, do all the YouTube stuff. I don't really care. And I will see you all in the next chapter video. I don't know what I'm calling it yet. I guess in the next video, because it might not be a Let's Play video. We'll see. I don't know. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. What is he even looking at?